do you make of today's moves in terms of an election strategy for the Conservatives? Well, I think, to be honest, one has to question whether it is an election strategy at all. Uh, I think both in terms of its likely impact and perhaps also in terms of its motivation. Um, on, uh, on, on terms of its you know, likely impact, we should remember that the role of Foreign Secretary is one where the post holder spends a lot of time abroad rather than engaging in uh, partisan argument at home. And of course, much of foreign policy, including, of course, uh, most recently, the uh, UK's response to the hostilities between Israel and Hamas, and above all, of course, the Russian invasion of Ukraine, that's been pursued on a bipartisan basis. So to that extent, at least, we should not necessarily assume that Lord Cameron's presence in the UK cabinet is one that's going to necessarily have that much impact at home. I think the same thing one has to say so far as, you know, uh, what are Mr. Sunak's motivations here? I think above all, his motivation, which was essentially to remove Suella Braverman out of the Home Office and to put James Cleverley in there. Mr. Cleverley, who shall we say is rather more careful with his words than his predecessors in the Home Office, is that basically one, he was struggling to deal with a minister who was willing to flout his authority, and two, um, a minister who basically, whatever her support on the backbenchers, was pretty much being left high and dry by her ministerial colleagues. The last few days have just been full of interviews whereby minister after minister have basically uh, refused, uh, either implicitly or explicitly, to give Ms. Braverman their backing, at least so far as her rhetoric is concerned. That's a very difficult thing to sustain in government. Um, and I think, in truth, it's probably that that's the principal cause of why where we're at. Um, beyond that, you know, um, whether or not Lord, Lord Cameron's arrival really is that central to the government's partisan battle, I somehow doubt.